Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bourbon Bar. I'm Holden and today I'm bringing you guys a video of a different whiskey that I'm trying. One that's not usually part of my rotation, but I was lucky enough to find this uh, at retail, actually probably under retail at a store, and uh, I'm able to review it for you guys, so I think that's awesome. That being said, the bottle that we are reviewing today is Red Breast Cast Strength. Now, a lot of you guys know what Red Breast is. In terms of Irish whiskey, it's one of the most popular. I'd have to say it's on shelves just about everywhere, and it's pretty damn good for Red Breast 12 being uh, lower proof, um, readily available Irish whiskey here in America. Uh, Red Breast 12 is great whiskey, but I have never had Red Breast cast strength, nor have I ever seen it here in Wisconsin. It's not very um, available, I would say. So when I stumbled upon this for $90, I was pretty psyched to get it, so that being said, I bought it, and this is the Red Breast Single Pot Still Irish Whiskey Cast Strength, aged 12 years, and this is batch B122. So, this comes in at 58.1% alcohol, that is a 116.2 proof, and yeah, let's get right into this. Uh, I've, I've not had many Irish whiskeys, but recently I've been able to um, kind of indulge in the Irish whiskeys a little bit more thanks to Stacey H, otherwise known as Four Leaf Whiskey. So shout out to you, Stacey. Uh, but I, I've been able to find a lot of really good ones that I actually thoroughly enjoy. Uh, I wasn't sure if I liked Irish whiskey, but then after getting the Powers John's Lane and uh, trying Red Breast for the first time, I had um, really been turned on to the whole Irish whiskey thing, thing. So this is triple distilled and matured in the finest oak casks, as it says on the bottle. But I think that's enough dilly-dallying, guys. Let's go ahead and taste the Red Breast. Oh, okay, so right away, you're getting so blasted with fruit and spice, like spiced fruits, like kind of like darker fruits, I would say. Um, like maybe, uh, I don't want to say plum, but it's not the one I'm thinking of, but like, I don't know, some kind of like darker fruits, maybe some stone fruits. Yeah, it's totally some stone fruits with some spice in there, uh, which smells absolutely decadent. A lot of spice though in this one, a lot of good cinnamon. Um, coming in at that cast strength. There's a decent amount of oak presence in here too that I'm enjoying. And yeah, I gotta say, it smells pretty great. It also has a little bit of like a vanilla-y, um, vanilla frosting-y type aspect to it, but not a whole lot, along with like a, like a butterscotchness on the nose here. But that being said, I'm really excited to get this on the palate, so let's go ahead and taste it. Ooh, okay, so that kind of uh, gives me a whole wave of emotion, so that's really good. Honestly, like, I think the best Irish whiskey that I've had. Sorry, Powers, John Lane, this is the new king for at least the bourbon bar, but like I said, I haven't had that much Irish, but this, on the palate, starts off with that, like, nice fruitiness, and then uh, as it's working to the back of the palate, you're getting into that butterscotch, and you're also getting into that, like, um age statement. I feel like there's almost like a little bit of like a sweet tobacco on here, um, which I don't know if that's common for a red breast note, but it also seems like it has a little bit of like a maltiness to it. I don't know. Um, maltiness? I don't know. It says here barley. Barley, maltiness, uh, same difference basically. So actually I'll go ahead and read you guys what the bottle says. The bottle says a cornucopia of dried fruit with a lively spice and a butterscotch and barley finish. So that just about sums it up. Um, the bottle has some pretty good notes, but I feel like that stone fruit really came into play on the front of the palate. And then they really did have a lot of those sweeter elements in the back of like a um, sweet, savory, like butterscotch. But let's go ahead and get a second sip. Man, this has got like layers of depth to it. It's like this beautiful, like a whole bunch of like fruits and stone fruits in there on the front of the palate. It's like all you're getting on the front of that palate is this wonderful fruitiness. But then toward the back, you're getting into that butterscotch, butter cookie type, like delicious, like dessertiness. It almost has like a tiramisu vibe. I don't know if that's 
even like, but like it kind of reminds me of like what a tiramisu would be. Um, or a creme brulee, maybe I'm thinking of creme brulee, not tiramisu. Scratch tiramisu and put down creme brulee because that's like a creme, bru creme brulee um, ness on the palette and the finish. Uh, but overall, this is pretty fantastic. Now, I, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a grade, but before I do that, let's go ahead and listen to a message from today's sponsor. All right, everybody, so you guys have been around the channel long enough that you know who I'm gonna be talking about in the sponsor of today's video, and that's Wrist Mafia. Now, if you guys aren't aware of what Wrist Mafia is, they are a subscription-based company that sends you a watch in the mail every month for just $40 a month. Now, this is a great deal, seeing as the watches range from anywhere from $100 to $500 in value, um, and they have multiple things on there that you can buy as well, like this beautiful uh, watch display slash carrying case. So you can see here, it's got like a carbon fiber type layout design with some red stitching. And then you open it up and you have all of your watches on display along with a little window in the front. Now in there, I have a bunch of different watches from Wrist Mafia, as you guys can see. They can range anywhere from like a military style all the way down to like um, a classy old skeleton style watch. There's a lot of unique designs that really make it easy to match with any outfit that you guys are wearing that day. But overall, the longer you're with Wrist Mafia, the more watches you're going to have to choose from. And that's a weapon that you can always have in your arsenal when you're planning an outfit. That being said, guys, if you guys are interested in joining Wrist Mafia, like I said, it's $40 a month, and they'll send you a watch to door every month. But they also have packages that you can either get for yourself or your significant other or a dad or a brother or someone important in your life. You can buy three or six month subscription packages, pay it all at once, and then they'll send a watch to your door for every month for three or six months. And then that's a one-time purchase, and you guys can stop after that. But overall, it's a pretty great deal, so if you guys are interested in getting Wrist Mafia, I do have a coupon code. Links down in the description. You can use the code BOURBONBAR at checkout, all caps, all one word, and that will save you 20% off of your first order. That being said, I hope you guys check out Wrist Mafia and join the Mafia today. All right, everybody, so we're back for the grading portion of this. Now, you guys know how this works. I have three sections I can do the grade on the nose, grade on the palette, and value for the money. Now, for the nose of this one, the nose is really great. It has a lot of good fruit in it and a lot of spice, which I really enjoy. So the nose for this whiskey is going to get an 8.4 out of 10. Now moving on to the palette. The palette is where a lot of that flavor comes in, starting with those stone fruits on the front end, then going on to this nice butterscotchy barley creme brulee finish, which is super great. I think that deserves an 8.6 out of 10. And lastly, value for the money at $90, which is what I got this at, is pretty great, but it is usually retailed at around $100. But so for that $100 price point, if you guys can find it, um, I think, yeah, it's worth it, but it could be better seeing as uh, 12 year cast strength whiskey is the same thing as Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. That comes in at around 70 bucks, this is 100, but this is also Irish whiskey and it's single pot still, so that has it at going for it. So that being said, I think that deserves a 7.8 out of 10 for value for the money. Overall, this whiskey gets an 8.3 out of 10. Honestly, it's pretty great. One of the probably the best Irish whiskeys that I've had, um, if not the best Irish whiskey that I have, but it is fantastic. So that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, leave a comment in the comment section if you guys enjoy Redbreast 12 normal or if you'd rather have the cast strength. What is your preference or what is your favorite Redbreast? That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you all in the next class.